After three weeks of testing the glorious food specialties of England and France, it is a great joy for me to have finally arrived in my favorite city, the beautiful Paris. My early visit for Tesla Tour confirms to me that Paris has kept its place as a wonderful gastronomic destination. Close by the Concorde Place on the Rue de Rivoli, the very fine Hotel Meurice houses one of Paris' best French restaurants, run by world-class renowned chef, restaurateur Alain Ducasse. The glorious dining room is a reproduction of one of the lounge rooms of the Chateau de Versailles. It is an honor to spend time in the heart of the kitchen, talking to Christophe Saint-Agne, the chef de cuisine, who has inspiring thoughts about contemporary cooking. La philosophie de ce lieu, c'est d'arriver à proposer les plus grands produits français euh, d'une façon très directe, d'une façon très simple. Et aujourd'hui, je crois que les plus belles, les plus belles émotions dans, dans, dans la cuisine, elles sont procurées par le végétal. Mais dans le goût d'un légume, il y a une forme de justesse, de sincérité auquel on est moins habitué. Tout le monde sait manger une entrecôte de bœuf. Par contre, on est souvent surpris par la délicatesse d'un petit pois, euh, par le côté épicé que peut avoir une asperge. Donc je trouve que ça, ce sont des émotions qu'on doit encore euh, approfondir. It is a must for a top French restaurant like the Meurice Alain Ducasse to serve exquisite desserts. And the young pâtissier, Cédric Grolet, create amazing sweet sensations. This dessert of porch cherries with beetroot wafers and caramelized nuts, served with a smooth ice cream flavored with a French chili, is amazing. The raspberry millefeuille is a classic French dessert. First, I lay some puff pastry on a baking tray lined with baking pepper. I prick the pastry with a fork dust it with caster sugar, then bake at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. Next, I press down a bit with a rack to help prevent the pastry from rising too much and cook it for five minutes more. I then remove the rack and turn the pastry out onto a second baking tray lined with baking pepper. I dust the top of the pastry with icing sugar and bake in the oven at 250 degrees. I cut the cold pastry into three long strips, then cut each strip into six equal rectangles. I pipe a little bit of cream in the center of two of the pastry rectangles. The cream won't make the pastry soggy because it is caramelized. I garnish with raspberries, then place one on top of the other. Top with an ungarnished pastry rectangle and dust with icing sugar. These millefeuille au framboise are so good. It has been a great pleasure for me to present this 10th edition of Tesla Tour. And what a privilege to meet the great chefs and pâtissiers and to discover their glorious food and gâteaux. And what a joy to visit the colorful markets and to taste some beautiful cheeses and wines. So, until next year, merci et au revoir. <laughs>